Welcome to the Joe Rogan Experience. Sometimes when I get on YouTube, I stumble across a Joe Rogan video, and that leads me down a three hour rabbit hole of listening to him talk to some of the most interesting people in the world. But one side of Joe Rogan that interests me the most is his interest in health and his interest in self-improvement. So what I did was I took a few days out of my, well actually it's about a week that I spent uh, focusing on trying to implement some of the things that Joe has implemented into his routine. And that's what I'm going to be documenting in today's video. I've done some crazy things. I've ate some things that I never thought that I would eat. I floated in a float tank or an isolation tank and I never thought I would have done that. In fact, I didn't even know there was a place that existed near me that offered this. And through it through, I learned a lot. I, I really enjoyed getting into the Joe Rogan routine. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today. If you enjoy this video, please drop a quick like. I would really appreciate it. It helps out this channel a lot. So just really quick, you know, go down there, drop that quick blue like. So let's go through a day in the life of Joe Rogan. Now, one of the things about Joe that I admire is the fact that he wakes up extremely early. In fact, he said on some occasions that he wakes up at 3 a.m. in the morning. I wake up at three o'clock in the morning, just drive over here. Sweet. Now, I can't lie, I wasn't waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I watched Andrew Kirby's uh, rendition of the Joe Rogan routine, and uh, if you guys know who he is, he made a video about this too. I will link it in the description if you wanna check it out. He made an awesome video about the Joe Rogan routine as well. And he said he did the 3 a.m. thing for like one or two days, and then he was just done with it. He didn't wanna do it anymore because his sleep was more important than getting up that early to get things done. But I do sort of think there is a happy medium. You know, you can get up still earlier than most people and you still can be productive without getting up at 3 a.m. In fact, I used to get up at 4.50 every single day and I used to go work out a lot and I did that for like a year straight. Even that was a little bit too early, but I found recently that like 6 a.m. is a good time for me to wake up. I have my own business, so you know I kind of work on my own schedule, but I do still have to have a schedule to stay on top of things. And 6 a.m. has been a wonderful spot. And I've been able to hit that like every day this week. I've gotten up before seven o'clock, so between six and seven. So that's gone pretty good for me. Now, another thing that Joe implements into his routine is fasting. What's your morning routine like? Or do you have a morning routine that you like? Or do you just kind of- Fasted cardio is what I like to do or fasted yoga. That's my, my most recent thing is I'm doing either 14 to 16 hours, depending upon what my day looks like. Nice. So I'm like intermittent fasting. I am doing a water fast and every once in a while I'll have some black coffee. Um, but you know, I just fill this up right here with water and that keeps me filled up. I usually don't have a problem with fasting and it helps me out to basically just stay alert in the morning and get focused work done. So fasting is, is an A plus for me. And that's something that I think everyone should really do if it helps them boost their energy. So now a great thing that I've been implementing in the morning is a morning Yoga, yoga routine now uh fasted, fasted yoga. yoga is something joe talks about a lot fasted yoga and fasted cardio I have this yoga mat here that i just sprawl out right here in my office and i actually just do a little bit of yoga before i get into work and that's been doing me wonders you know it clears your mind in the morning and yoga isn't just about you know stretching and sitting there and getting in weird positions yoga is more about in my opinion clearing your mind taking those deep breaths it's almost meditative in a sense hey. It's weird being me, I bet. you know, and to, to be able to just take some time and just uh, just look at it all through fresh eyes. Like, that's the place for me, Hell getting yeah. into that that's, tank. You do an hour? About, or I like an hour, but I do two if I have the time. All right, so here goes nothing. I have a float tank appointment booked. I'm going to basically submerge myself in there for one hour. I've never done this before, so this will be very interesting, and I'm... I'm really excited. I mean, excited, maybe a little bit nervous, but I think this is gonna be a great time and maybe I'll have some sort of insight while I'm in there. All right, so I made it to Zen Dens. That's what this place is called, so I'm excited. Okay. All right, so here we are. This is the float tank, a lot bigger than I thought. Hello. So I'm here with Terry. I'm gonna ask her a few questions. She's the expert on these float tanks. So I've read a little bit about them. And one of the things that I heard is that you can potentially have hallucinations in these float tanks. 
Is that something that, that is true. you've heard of? That Everybody has that? different experiences, but yeah. Have you ever had hallucinations? I have uh, visions in the float yeah. tank. Or what are some of the benefits that you've noticed from the float tank? Um, well, sleep. sleep. So that's a big one. Um, well, and I have really rough hair, but this is a very big side note. But you know, it makes your hair feel soft, your skin feel soft. Um, it's really a total reset of your nervous system. So everything just slows way down in the tank. You can hear your heartbeat, you can hear your breathing. Um, the body doesn't often, we don't allow it to go into such repair mode. So when it slows way down, it can start its natural process of um, healing itself. All right, so it's just me and the float tank now. It looks like an abyss. Okay. Uh, so Terry kind of walked me through and kind of told me everything that I need to know. I'm going to take a quick shower before I get in there. I'm going to, uh, you know, basically just prepare. And then it has all sorts of different settings here. So we're going to start with the lights on and shortly after I'm going to probably turn them off so that I can get the full experience, but, well, here goes nothing. So, just finished up the float, and the float tank is now in its cleaning stage. I was told not to go in there during this section of the uh, process, so I'm going to help with that. It was relaxing once I got into it, once I got past the, you know, the unfamiliarity of it, I really got into it and I really started enjoying it, and before I knew it, the hour was up, and now I'm just feeling super relaxed I'm just gonna do a nice little drive home gonna roll the windows down and yeah gonna get into my work day now by the time we get to noon I'm getting a little bit hungry right so at this point I'll usually like drink a LaCroix and it doesn't break your fast. Like if I'm getting hungry before noon, I'll just drink one of these because it's carbonated and it kind of just helps you get through the fast a little bit easier. And one of the things that Joe talks about a lot is his consumption of probiotics. I ventured into the world of probiotics quite a bit. I tried kimchi. kimchi. So I'm gonna be trying some kimchi, which is basically, uh, it's cabbage, essentially. One of the days, in fact, I had uh, some kombucha. After the kombucha, one thing that I was really interested in trying, that it was unfortunate I couldn't figure out where to find it, was elk. When you eat an elk, man, you're eating an animal that's getting away from wolves and bears and fighting to the death with swords growing out of its head. Okay, I called everywhere trying to figure out where I can buy elk meat. Hi, I was just uh, calling because I had a question. Uh, do you guys happen to sell elk? Yep. Yeah. Do you know anywhere that might? Hi, I was just calling to see if you guys happen to have elk. Uh, we do not sell any meat. It's a custom but I was still interested in, you know, pursuing the Joe Rogan routine, so I wanted to find an animal that had to work. Um, so what I ended up settling for was salmon. Well, if you think about like how healthy it is to eat salmon, like a healthy wild salmon, that is a an animal that's out there hustling. You know, a salmon making its way up river. You eat one of those Seriously. things, it's just loaded with nutrients and essential fats. And I had salmon twice this week and that was really good. I actually learned some new ways to prepare salmon um, and, and I quite enjoyed it. So that was, that was nice to, to you know, cook for myself a little bit and enjoy some salmon. Now, as you get later into the day, Joe likes to do like some, either like some sparring or he, he said before that he likes to do like some weightlifting later in the day. So that's what I opted for. I ended up just doing some weightlifting. I have a bench press in my garage. So I just did a couple pumps of that. Uh, did some upper body. Um, and then in the hit workouts, usually I'll do like some lower body. I'll do some squats and stuff like that. But all in all, through and through, the Joe Rogan routine was something of a blessing, I would say. Um, it made me sort of learn a few things that I didn't know about. One was that was really interesting was the isolation tank. I had a shit ton of fun with that. Um, and also just like it kind of reinforced the need to uh, fast more and it forced me to try some new foods and maybe cook some new uh, cook in some new ways so the joe rogan routine was success i give it a 10 out of 10 and i think you should try it
Let me know below if you guys enjoyed this video. Just leave a quick comment. Subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. I, I find that Joe Rogan balances recreation and productivity extremely well. So that's something that I really admire about him. And I'd love to make some more videos about it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you guys in the next one.